Okay. Hi, my name is Nikki. I work here at Gazelle Sports. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of our hydration belts. Um, there's a couple different styles that you can go. Some people prefer having a belt style, literally a belt that goes around your waist. There's a couple different um, name brands that you can use. This is the fuel belt. Um, most of these are going to be one size fits all or adjustable. Some of them do have some specific sizes that you'll have to look and, and see what, you know, which size you would fit in. Um, but most of them either have like a Velcro or a clip that you would put on. Um, it goes all the way around your waist and you would adjust it. Some of them have little pockets on there that you can stash a key. Some of them are bigger. They'll have, you know, you can actually put a phone. Um, you can put in your gel packets, that kind of stuff. Um, and most of them have these little bottles and stuff that you can take, you know, in and, um, in and out. This one has the little clip where you just kind of slide it in and out as you're running. Some people like to have the bottles in the front. Some people like to have them in the back. That's all just personal preference. Um, Another brand that's a little bit different is the Nathan. And as you can see, Nathan has a little bit different style pocket to it. Velcro's open, it's a little bit more stretchy. Um, again, bottles that kind of just lift in and out. Most of these are gonna be around eight ounces or so. Um, and then, you know, eight ounces each. And it depends on how many um, miles and the length of time that you're doing that you'll have to figure out how much you'll need um, as far as water goes. There's also another brand called Amphipod. Um, this one's a little yeah. unique in the fact that they actually have, like this one has the four bottles, but it's unique th to where you can take bottles off as you please. So if you want four bottles, you can have four bottles. If you want three bottles, you can take off this bottle. As you can see, it's a little pad. It'll just slide right off. And you can actually take all of the bottles off if you want and just have the, um, the pocket for you for storage and some people will actually clip their race numbers to this instead of actually poking the holes into their shirts sometimes getting little snags especially on the the tech t-shirts and stuff those snag really easy so a lot of people actually even use this as a is just a bib race number holder um, so that's and then um, there's even another style too from Amphipod that actually has a bigger water, water bottle into the center of your back um, and that's kind of nice because it, it is in the center of your back, you know, so it's, you don't notice it as much. Um, again, has a little pocket for some storage, so it's all just kind of personal preference. You've got to come in and just kind of see what works for you, kind of jog around the store. We never mind, so. <laughs> um, as far as belts go, that's pretty much most of the belts. There is another um, option that you could have. You could use a handheld water bottle. Um, this is kind of interesting. I use this quite a bit. You actually can snug it up to get to your hand. It has a little pocket on the inside there, so you could, you know, again, store goo, foam, uh, a phone, keys, whatever you need, um, and you just sip as you run. Um, and some people who don't like belts, who just don't like having anything on their waist, prefer this method. And it's pretty tight, like, I mean, you don't have to hold it, it stays on your hand, um, you don't really have to grip, so it's, it's kind of just an easy little sip that you can do. And there's bigger bottles and smaller bottles, and some have insulation on them for, um, like cooler months and stuff when you're running in the winter, it won't freeze as fast, same thing in the summer, it'll keep it cooler. Um, another option is a Camelback. And this is literally just a little backpack that has a bladder on the inside that you twist off. Well, it's brand new, it's pretty snug in there. But you twist this off, you fill it with water. Um, some people can even use, you can make, you know, do mixed drinks and stuff in this, that's fine because this whole piece comes out. Um, so it's easy to clean. See, as you can see, it's a whole bladder that just has inside there. So you can actually put, like I said, stuff in there. Um, if you use like a goo or like a Powerade or something, that's fine. Um, so you fill up your little pack and you would actually just put it on your back, just like a backpack. And it's kind of nice because then you have this little piece that you would actually take off and you can clip it to the side or you can put it in this little hole here and as you as you run you can take the little um, piece and you can bite on it and it'll actually you can be able to suck like a straw so it's almost like having just like a, a backpack with a straw um, so some people prefer using this method as well um, 
And it's actually, it's, it's, you know, I've done marathons and stuff with this. I didn't have any chafing from it. I get a lot of people say, oh my gosh, how do you not have any chafing from it? But I mean, it's really nice and soft and lightweight and it's another good option. So really, I mean, with hydration, it's pretty much whatever you prefer, what you like to have on your body and just try it out and see what works because it's all pretty individual. So come on in and then we can see if we can help get you geared up for some uh, hydration. Thanks.